and today I thought I would show you my fashion desk. Now this isn't actually in my room, it's in the living room because my room doesn't have as much light. Um, so I prefer to work in a bit more light, so hence I'm in my living room and this is a complete mess. So I'm literally just going to show you everything that I have on my desk as well as things underneath my desk like pattern masters and things that I just keep there. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the mannequin. Um, this is a really cheap one that I bought a couple of months ago off eBay. It was about £24 I think it is. Um, I wouldn't really recommend this mannequin to be honest. Um, it is polystyrene and it's very very light um, but actually it's a bit too light so if you try and drape things on it um, it doesn't really keep balance too well. Um, but I put some pins up there and I just use that, um, obviously, when I'm making things. Um, then the other thing that I have is a sewing machine. This is just a very, very basic, normal sewing machine. Um, I really want an industrial one. They do cost a lot of money, but um, so far, right now, for my second year, I'm just sticking with this guy at home. And I, I have him on the floor because I don't actually have any space on my table at the moment, so um, I will eventually put him back in his place, which is in my room. Um, but I just wanted to do it here because it's a bit more lighted. Um, and then I have my bags, which I take to school. Um, I usually put all of my sketchbooks and my files in a canvas bag just because it's very sturdy and it's easier to carry as well. And then my main things that I carry, like my pencils and my pencil case and my wallet, go into my main bag. Then I have a bin bag here. Um, this actually, I did actually have a bin which was there, but then I decided to put stuff in there instead, like Polly Pockets and things. Um, so I just decided to have a bag which is a lot easier. I have some pattern paper down here, which I use to draw out um, blocks onto things like that. Um, it's also a little bit like tracing paper, so that's handy. This is a rocking chair that I just tend to fill um, with just random things. Right now I'm doing a children's wear project, hence um, some of the patterns. It's based around ballet and kind of graceful clothing and elegance and that kind of stuff, but for children, as I mentioned. So if I get onto um, this area here, which is my my so-called desk. Um, on this side are just some really random things that aren't actually anything to do with fashion or anything, but um, I thought I would show these. These are really, really cool. These are actually chalks, and what you do is you, if I can open it, you use this little wooden thing and you get one of these cotton balls. They come in three different sizes and you pick it up with that and then you rub it onto the chalk and then you um, use it. And it's really, really cool. And they come in lots and lots of different colours. So I have those. Those are really, really nice. Um, a lot easier than normal chalk, I think, um, as well. I have an iPad over there, which I do some work on as well. And then here I have loads and loads of pencils, pens, binder clips, things that I use um, for my file, so, yep, just normal pens and pencils, um, and then in here I have paint, so acrylic and gouache paint, um, in the back there I think I have some fabric samples, I have some PVA glue there, um, in here I have lots of fabric, just nets that were from India, and then in here I have some fabric scissors, which are there. There's some brand new ones, so um, I'm not going to um, open them until I've used up my other ones. Um, there's also more paint there and a cereal box, which I don't actually think has any cereal in there. Um, and then I've just got these. Um, these are actually blouse cases um, for saris and things like that, but I just keep them in case I want to put pattern pieces um, in there for my work. And then, what else do I have? There's the pedal for my sewing machine. Um, I have just some random bits and pieces in here for drawing. So I just have graphite, uh, chalk, um, and lots of other different materials. I have poly pockets, which are very important for my files. I have a couple of books. I will go through my books as well at some point. And then I have... This is one of the most possessed 
or one of my prized possession books. It's the Pantone um, colour book. It just has loads and loads of colour references and it's super easy to use. Um, my Pattern Master, which is there. I have a couple of blocks in there as well. And some extra files. So that stays underneath my desk. Now if I actually get onto my desk... So the first thing you'll probably see, apart from the hot chocolate, is um, my computer. This has Photoshop and Illustrator, which is super important. Um, it's just something I need and if you guys are into fashion design you'll probably know that it's very important um, in the industry. I have my sketchbook which I'm currently working on which I will show you at some point. As I mentioned it's based on children's wear and you can't really see it that well which is great. Um, maybe you can see it a little bit better there. Then I have a paint palette um, and then in here I just have Lots of just normal random things like a calculator, glue, sharpener, a stapler, paintbrushes, index cards, drawing pencils. Behind I have colouring pencils, um, sticky notes, scissors, scissors, um, then fine liners, glue, double sided tape, um, masking tape, pins, another palette, um, Copic markers which are super super I think they're definitely um, an investment, but something that almost every fashion um, designer probably has in their kit. I have a few Sharpies in there, and then here I have a tracing wheel, um, a punch, a lino cutter. Um, that is a um, pretty self-explanatory, it's um, one of those, again, another cutter. Um, and then I have the mats uh, somewhere as well. And then I have rulers, um, this is a great fix, this is also something I got from India, it basically is for like pastel charcoal, things that you know smudge, um, you just spray it on there and then it doesn't budge. Um, what else do I have here? Um, a colour wheel, pretty important, um, dictionary, a couple more fashion books, paper, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I look at this every single day, so I might have forgotten something. Um, this is also really important, a hard drive. Um, sometimes you do so much work on your computer that you don't actually have space on your computer anymore, so I definitely recommend getting a hard drive. Plus you can take this into your university or college or whatever, wherever you study and you can bring your work home with you um, rather than having to worry about file sizes and all of that. Okay, and then I have one of these. This is a pattern box. This is really cool. Um, this I got from the Fashion and Textiles Museum in London. And it's just got loads of different artists and then it's got patterns. So you can be inspired just by kind of looking at all these different patterns, which I think is quite cool. Um, and yeah, it's definitely something I keep on my desk just so that I can be extra inspired. Um, in case I'm having a hard time finding inspiration. And so for the children's wear project I was looking at, I just picked some out and um, put them in the front. So I looked at that one. And this might be a little bit difficult for me to kind of show you. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see how you know, the colours and stuff I've been inspired a little bit by and it's just a really cool thing to just have on your desk. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much my messy, messy, messy desk area um, in my living room. Um, also on the side I do have, um, which I forgot to show you, is the uh, mats. That is an A2 one, um, which I got from Reeves, I think, for 3 99 I have a guillotine, this is actually an A3 one. Um, I do want a bigger one, but I don't have one yet. Some sellotape, highlighter, and then my files and sketchbooks, and more files. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much my messy, messy desk. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, um, definitely let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys all very, very soon. Bye!